Like how hypocrisy you are, oh my god. Ramadan, 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 Ramadan. Hi, the whole business. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Woo! It is fuck shit Friday. It is time for a little butt stuff. It is time for a little cheese stuff. And it is time for Ramadan. Uh, why would she leave that in? <laughs> Is that like paying him back for the scat? I don't know, but damn, it's going to be a no from me, dog. Oh, you are so out of tune. How hypocrisy you are. Oh, I love it. We are going to be, of course, revisiting all the messages and all the poop and all of it during Ramadan. Not just during Ramadan, but this soft relaunch of this scat man piece of crap into the community. No, thanks. I don't think so. So, you know, sometimes we just got to bring back up those messages, you know? <laughs> Pixie, hello. Thank you for the super chat. I stopped watching Facts of Life for you. <laughs> but I love you, Pixie. <laughs> Thank you for being here. He can't sing worth a damn. It's the voice that goes with the one-handed keyboard, though. You know what I mean? It does make sense together. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Now. <clears throat> There's some news today in Shantopolis. Of course, our girl got verified. She got her little check mark. Oh my God. It's 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 happening. The legacy. She's getting what she wanted. People are going nuts about it on Twitter. That oh my God, she always gets her way. It's let her have her little check mark. Let her have her little legacy. In 10 years when she's not around anymore. The check mark will be what? The only thing people remember? Who gives a shit, man? <laughs> about to lose a foot. So consumed about getting a check mark. I don't know. Priorities. Uh, FFG sent me down a lushy rabbit hole. Thanks a lot. I'm so glad you did. Uh, we discussed it the other day. I'm going to mention it here on the main channel, too. Um, I'm switching things up a little bit. Frenchie Deux is no longer going to be the highlight channel of this channel. Frenchie Deux is going to be lushy reacts. Um, and a bunch of other people that we haven't even gotten into yet, Becky, I gotta show you guys Becky, fuck shit over there, just different kind of stuff, but all the lushy stuff is gonna be happening on Frenchie Deux from now on, okay? We're gonna, I'm gonna try it like that anyway. Uh, we will see. This weekend, I hope to have our first lushy stream react over there, so if you haven't already, subscribe to Frenchie Deux, the link is down below in this, in the, uh, what do you call? <laughs> description <laughs> of this stream highly recommend you do things about to switch up over there eh. well we're on the topic of other <laughs> like places other than that here uh listen tonight i don't know what you guys are doing but i am freshly showered and already in my pajamas i will be going live later tonight like after this stream i shit you not on twitch we're gonna be playing a new game i got the jackbox games 
for you jackasses. So the beauty of this game is that everybody can play for free. I bought the, this, the game and I'm the only one who has to pay anything and we can all play for free. So all you need is a cell phone to join in. It should be a whole lot of fun. I hope to see you guys there. Uh, I've never played it before though. So have patience with your boomer. Bailey, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. You got the daycare job. Woo, congratulations, long distance high five. That is so effing good. I hope you really enjoy your weekend knowing that you have that to look forward to. That's awesome, girl. Oh no, <laughs> something great happens and then bam, there's your bully. Hello, hijab cheese. Thank you for the super chat. Can you let me and Pixie out of your trunk? Pixie, absolutely. You, you, I'll stuff you deeper in the trunk, you freaking hijab cheese. God, <laughs> Vicky, Vicky, thank you for the super chat. Patch number two is coming soon. Thank you so, so much, Vicky. I really appreciate it, girl. Oh, that's so, so nice of you. Thank you. Teaspoons, thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday to you too. Thank you for being here. Good to see you. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, Jackbox games are hilarious with people that have a good sense of humor. Well, let me let, let me tell you, when I was a teenager, or like, yeah, I, I think I still, I was a teenager. Me and my bestie, we used to play You Don't Know Jack. We used to fucking love that game. When I saw that you could get You Don't Know Jack, it, uh, it goes without saying what we're starting with tonight. I've bought a few of the Jackbox game things, but we're starting with You Don't Know Jack, obviously, for me. Basement Baby, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Hijab Cheese. Lock me and the bird in the shoe closet again. She's a fucking menace. I swear to God. Somebody's got to lock this bitch up. For real, for real. He gem cheese. Stop stalking me. It's getting weird. Erf, erf. Thank you for the super chat. The check mark goes away if she changes her name. True, but then she just reapplies for verification. I guess there's nothing guaranteeing you get it a second time. I have no idea. But it'll be interesting when she tries to turn this shit back into foodie beauty. And I 100%, spoiler alert, she hasn't applied for her plaque yet. I do believe this is why she has not applied for the, pla uh, the plaque. She doesn't want the plaque to be an everyday Mary Ham's name. She's going to wait till she goes back to foodie beauty and apply for the plaque. That's the bell I gotta say. Sydney, thank you for the super chat. Frenchie, please wish me luck on my state life insurance exam today. Oh, damn, Sydney. Good luck. Fingers crossed, girl. You got this. Stay, stay cool in the mind. Don't panic. You freaking got it, girl. Good luck. EM, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Are you effing kidding me? Her ego will be huge now. Who cares? Who ca You know what else is huge? Her liver. Gives a fuck about her ego. She's not going to be around for the next, like, 10 years. For, listen, listen, she's about to turn 40, right? Yeah. They should celebrate that milestone because there's no guarantee of a next milestone. Do you know what I mean? Gives a fuck about a plaque, a check mark, or anything when, I don't know, you got limited time, you're about to lose a foot, uh, all of your, your organs are fucking crapping out on you. Uh, yeah, I have a plaque. Let her have her goddamn plaque. We all have retirement to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather have retirement. Well, that's just me. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. I'm laughing so hard right now. Send oxygen. Pixie, you're out. You don't need the oxygen. Let hijab cheese have the oxygen. Lisa Beer, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, I'm happy you're here, girl. Happy Friday. Nice to see ya. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. Just to annoy her and because it feels like springtime. It's 65 out windows open. Y'all, yeah, it, it does feel good, doesn't it? Listen, it's supposed to snow like a motherfucker here on Sunday and I don't even give crap. Because you know what else happens on Sunday? We set the clocks forward. I don't give a damn about, one, oh, no, we lose an hour of sleep. What's an hour? Who cares? You know what it gives you back, though? The will to live. The sun comes out all early and shit again. You know? Yes, bitch. I'm so excited. When when you change the clocks to me, it's like, oh, that's done. Winter's done. I don't even give a fuck that it's snowing on that day. Um, Grief the day. Thank you for the super chat. What do you think of this season? Of uh, I've only watched a few episodes. I haven't watched the whole season through. Uh, I tried to watch it without my mom. I'm not trying to make this about my mom's front end. We're fucking celebrating. But uh, Vanderpump Rules was her fucking show. And it's extremely hard to watch without her. Goddamn. So I just haven't. <laughs> to be honest, I, I will. It'll be long over and I'm going to go and rewatch it, you know, but can't do it yet. 
Basement baby, thank you again for the super chat. Where's your plaque, FFG? I got mine. Okay. <laughs> it's true. She is going to start throwing that around like anybody gives a fuck. Oh, I don't know. Again, would you like all your organs to function or a plaque? I'm going with my organs because look at what she did to herself to get to that plaque. You know, I don't think many of us would. She can have it. Taylor taught. Thank you for the super chat. I had an awful day yesterday, but today is Friday. I can laugh with the girl gang for a bit. I'm not a lonely death fat. And my boyfriend is taking me to see Dune 2 tonight. Ooh, life is good. Happy weekend to all. Wow. Happy weekend to you too, girl. I love that glass half full type of attitude. Have a great time at the movies tonight. That's great. Have a Sue mom. Hello. Thank you for the super chat. Verified or not, she still can't sit with us. That's right. That's right. Can't walk, can't sit with us. <laughs> Fuck her and her fucking plaque verification and then all the legacy. <laughs> uh, wait. P, P, there's an intruder. Thank you for the super chat. I'm minty and ready for cheese. High five, bitch. Same. <laughs> I love that. I love when you come prepared for a Friday. Woo. That's awesome. Oh, I understand, Richie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm glad you do. Pixie, thank you again for the super chat. Where's both your legs? And 41 years old, Mary Ham. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Where's your retirement fund? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, listen, in the States, y'all have your 401ks here in Canada. We have our RRSPs. Where's your RRSPs? Oh, wait, you don't need any when you're not going to make it to retirement. Uh-huh. Real easy to blow through your money and not think a day in advance, isn't it? Anywho, not our problems. Woo! Again, let her have her fucking check mark like anybody gives a shit. Let her have her fucking plaque like anybody gives a shit. And I'm going to keep two legs and all the functioning organs. High five everybody else who has it. Yeah. <laughs> I love a good smoked Gouda. Ooh. Same, girl. That's, that's, that's a good pick. You got good taste in cheese. I like it. <laughs> Lazy, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Now that she's verified, what happens if she tries to go back to the name Foodie Beauty? She'll lose the verification and then just have to um, reapply for it. Oh, yes, that's right. FFG's little boy, but I'm I'm sounding so jealous. Jealous of what? The foot that's about to pop off, or the liver that's about to bust out of her gut? What what piece of it should I be jealous of exactly? Oh, the the little check mark next to her name. <laughs> she can keep it. I don't, I don't know. Some people y'all take it too seriously. Some of you trolls take it a little too seriously too, I suppose. But I don't. <laughs> uh, I find it mortifying, to be totally honest. If uh, you're in a fatty community and you get to 100K and you're going to do your little streams and you've got your plaque behind you, like... That's kind of embarrassing, but that's just me. Maybe you want to keep it for yourself, like off camera. I don't know. <laughs> Nima Marie, wifey number three. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday. Hi, ho, bish. <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, my gosh. Don't forget the rotting flaps of flesh. Okie doll, you have a real way with words there. Blech. EM, thank you for the super chat. What is you don't know, Jack? It's like a trivia game. That's a, it's just really, really fun. I, it's hard to explain. I don't know. The, it's fast paced. It's a little um, not uh, for kids. You know what I mean? It's just really fun. I don't know what this one's going to be. I don't know necessarily that it's exactly like the game I played when I was younger, but it used to be a really, really fun game. Lord of the Fruit Flies. Hello. Thank you for the super chat. Turn on my do not disturb on my phone. So I am uninterrupted while watching my stories. That is some addiction right there. I respect and appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeff Cheese, whatever you need to tell yourself, just stay in the fucking trunk. Thank you for the super chat from the trunk, weirdo. Are you super chatting me change that you find in my own trunk? Probably. St oh, oh, no. Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. How are you doing today, Stephanie? I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the forgiveness yesterday. <laughs> Thank you for being so cool about the whole damn thing and coming back today to make a joke about it. We love a sense of humor around here, girl. Please pause a lot, Frenchie. Love when you pause. I can promise you hella pauses, Stephanie, always. In the arms of the angel. Yeah, that's right, Stephanie. <laughs> 
Okay, listen, I'm grabbing the first tab so I can light up this J, all right? <laughs> Here's the order of operations for tonight. She is live. We're going to go into her live. We're going to speed her ass up to 1.5 speed and uh, skip ahead when we're bored and yada, yada, yada. You know, she's blowing smoke up her own ass for her 100K uh, little uh, verification tonight. We will watch until we don't want to watch anymore. And then we're going to watch the video she posted up today. Then we're going to dip on this whole goddamn thing and go and play games. All right? Hold on. Let me get the jam. I'm so excited. Dee Dee, not Dee Dee. Thank you for the super chat. She's going to rant about being called welfare girl. Nobody ever called her welfare girl. You can't just randomly rant about stories that you make up. That's not how life goes. You make up the story because you have nothing to talk about and then you let it die. You can't come back to a made up story and fucking rant about it. She was not welfare girl. This is wild. She's insane. <laughs> Tiara. Um, Blue Rose, uh, Harry. Hi. Joey, hello. By the way, I would never block you. <laughs> Ghostface Beezer. <clears throat> Thank you, Gemini Gem. Are we going to celebrate? I'm going to plan something special for you guys. Don't worry. Lisa P, hello, Lisa Moore. Uh, sorry, I'm not canning up tonight. I'm not feeling too well. Co Liar, she doesn't want to slap on a hijab. Hello, Shannon. Perfect timing, Shannon. Boop, to confirm. Yeah, that's such a lie. There was no, uh, I was welfare girl. Shut up, Chantal, with the, always has to be the victim. Shut your schmuck. When she tells us the story, sometimes it was, my mom worked so hard for us, you know what I mean? And then other times, I was welfare girl. Sometimes she wants to be the like, oh, the little poor girl. And then other times she wants to pretend like she was a fucking Gilmore girl. You can't have grown up in fucking both stories, liar. Boozy, Desert Rose. I'm working on it for real. I'm getting tired of this. Thank you, babe. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Nike uh, Pro Jock. Tangerine. What up? Hey, Super Troopa. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the Super Chat. Happy Friday. Yes. Rosemary's baby. Thank you, Beezer. Why am I awake this late, Nor? Oh, don't even. My, I'm so messed up with my sleep. Hi, Heather. Are you going to play music? Yes, one of these days. Thank you, Dream. Oh, okay, okay. No, from, from what I understand, no. Yeah, well, like, however you're going to be watching the Twitch, you're going to be watching the Twitch. And then to play along, there's a website you go to, jackbox.tv. I will explain before we play. And we're all going to be playing, even me, from our phones, so we can play together and, like, watch what's going on. On our Twitch. Woo! Um, <clears throat> well, inshallah, it arrives here. I hope it does. <laughs> I hope it arrives uh, nothing somewhere. Nothing at all. Have to mom. Um, nothing to download or pay for. Nothing. Thank you for the super check. Board. It will be a party. Don't worry. Okay. But um, yeah, I applied for the verification and I got it like the same day. So I'm like super happy. <laughs> and um, I don't know. It's just cool. You know, as a creator, I've been on YouTube for like six years. And I've always been happy with the amount of subscribers I've had, but it's just a cool milestone, you know? I guess you don't, I'm like always like, I don't know, I don't think it's like such a huge deal, but until it happens and you're like, oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, thank you, Lisa. She just said it's not a big deal until it happens and it's like, oh my God, oh yeah, that's a lie. We know what a big deal it was to her. She literally went for like a sub to sub woman and had Salad doing the typing, lying, trying to get them to support her. Help me get to 100K. Oh, yeah, no, you just, you don't realize what a big deal it is until you hit it. Yeah, good point. Wait, wait. Susie Q. That's why I, I'm like, no, it can't be. That can't be true. Yeah. Yeah, look, there's 207 people watching her live. What in the shit is this? 200 people. But you're doing a stream celebrating your, your verification for 100K. It doesn't even make sense. Tamara, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday. I cannot wait to see your black nut on your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so if you change your username, you lose the verification, but you, all you have to do is just reapply for it again. That's all. Notice how she already looked into that. She's going to switch back to Foodie Beauty. The everyday Miriam thing was... To use that to cat woman to get her to 100k her plan all along has been of course to go back to foodie beauty that's the legacy that's why she hasn't applied for the plaque yet and that's why she went out of her way to find this out for herself today this is somebody too lazy to google anything always how did she learn this part this thing for herself today but normally when she wants to ask about tos or something she asks the beezers 
She wanted to be sure of what she was doing before she applied for that uh, verification. Deidre, thank you so much for the super chat. That sounds so nice. Thank you, Nosferatu. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, wait, I got to do something. I, uh, right? Yeah, she who shits herself. It's going to be a fucking joke. I can't wait. Thank you for the super chat. Trying to cope with many different things and getting ready for Ramadan. And, uh, whoops, whoops. Hold on. I'm just trying something here. Um, yeah. So I was just, uh, let's celebrate. I made a thumbnail for that. Um, yeah. Okay. There we go. Live chat replay wasn't on. Oh, Mrs. Muerta, thank you for the super chat. I saw that today on uh, Twitter. Hold on. I did see that and I went, hmm, makes sense. And then somebody tagged me in something else in Twitter. Sorry, I'm, I'm lagging birds because I'm trying to bring up a picture. Hold on. We will come back to this in a second. Let me show you a picture that I was tagged in, or two pictures that I was tagged in on Twitter today. You make with this what you want. Here, I hope you can see this. Let me NASA enhance. Okay. You see how it's, wait, it seems in the supermarkets, like in, let's say the supermarket Safeco, there is that bin over there and the bin says food bank on it, right? 1KD, 2KD, 3KD, and they're little packets. And if you zoom in on the picture, you can see there's like these like barcode stickers on things. Where does that barcode sticker show up? In Chantal's hall. Look at the carrots. There, it's circled around the carrots. The same type of barcode that are on these 1KD, 2KD, 3KD packets. I don't know what to say about that, but uh, <clears throat> it seems pretty obvious what's going on. Hmm? So I wanted to make sure it was. So anybody missing this can watch it after. Derek, hello. Thank you, Desert Rose. Miss Fui, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Feta fried bacon fondue. Thank you for the super chat. Mm, pickles. Hey, Angel of Mercy. Ramadan menu. I'm, I'm testing. I've been testing out things. And what I discovered is, you know how I had a whole lot of like cleaning out of my kitchen and reorganizing it? I had to do. I'm just going to have one chip. Oh, I did. Sarah Mac, thank you for the super chat. Um, Some games allow more. Some games allow less. I did see that. Um. Uh, you don't know Jack specifically. It does. I think it's eight people at a time, but we, you know what I mean? We'll just take turns. We used to do it all the time with Mario Kart. It was only 12. You know what I mean? People jump in, people jump out. It'll still be a hella good time. Is it Women's Day today? Hi, Sue Ann. Welcome, Salam. Kiki, thank you. Hi, Straight Kiff. So like, hold on. Oh, I forgot. I just remembered something. I got to set a reminder on my clock. Oh my gosh. I'm so freaking dumb. So right now it's 140. Right? Okay. I cuddles cats. Thank you for the super chat. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Do you ever do that? Have all these I'm sorry for the quick pauses, but again, I, like I get it though. What's the point of aspiring to like own a house or own anything really when you you know you, time is not on your side? Let's put it that way and be diplomatic about it, right? It makes sense. Why never put away a cent? Why not worry about paying off debts and stuff? You don't think you'll be around a lot, like long enough to, I don't know, enjoy those things, let's say. <clears throat> Delulu, thank you for the super chat. That's right. Once again, abusing another system. Let her. She can't abuse the, the system of her body, her health system. Listen, let her have these things. What? Like, who, who cares? Who cares, really? And I'm only saying that because I see so many people are so bothered by this on this Friday. And it's like, don't let it bother you so much. Look at what she's become achieving this 100K. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. I don't give a shit that she's getting a plaque. Luna, thank you for the super chat. Woke up yesterday. First thing I thought of was today is button cheese stuff day. I love that. Friday traditions. Traditions are important, damn it. Lady Whistledown, thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday to you these like alarms to remind yourself to do something because your brain doesn't brain anyway well i've been practicing um okay sorry now i have your now you have my full attention it is pretty gross eh 
When you see that picture from the, the grocery store, there's not that much, let's say, abundance in those little 1KD, 2KD, 3KD packs. It looks like if you don't need to take it, don't be an asshole, fat ass, and don't take it. Leave it for the people, the few people who would need it so that when they come around to that grocery store, they can find it there. You know what I mean? Nope. They'll go around and look at the abundance of stuff that they buy and say, or take. It's disgusting. Um, the Kuwaiti dishes. I've been practicing making things like rice pudding and this certain style of rice. The rice was a success, but the, uh, oh, I made these, I showed you in the video I just did, but I made these little like spice, spicy patties. Whenever we lived in our old apartment, this nice Indian lady, she, she would bring us stuff almost every day for Ramadan, these little fried Indian appetizers. And she made these little, like, I think they're called like aloo something, like aloo is a potato in Indian. They were curry and they were spiced, like they were seasoned so well. And they were little fried potato patties. So I made those today. They were a bit salty, but hi, Lynn, how are you? Does anyone remember seeing even one little fried potato patty last year at Ramadan? I don't. I don't believe she would have uh, kept getting that. She said she 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 kept bringing them over and bringing them over. She would have multiple times received that food and we didn't see her eat it on stream at all. I don't believe that. But I do believe that people were coming around for Ramadan. Remember we speculated last year in that tiny little building that people were maybe coming around gawking at her <laughs> like open the door so they could get like a look you know what i mean uh i don't think it's just some random really nice lady who would come over day after day bring in her food how many people are watching her let's take a little a little look see 231 here oh it just moved 223 yeah to celebrate 100k Can you please do a series of your cooking? Yeah, that's why I'm practicing, but it makes more of a mess. So I've just been like cooking and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. And um, oh my gosh. So and, and with my health the way it is, it's it's hard, you know? So I'm like, that's it. I need I need a six-pack journey. <laughs> Thanks, Moonflower. I'm in a pretty good mood. Hi, Colleen. What's up? Hi, Anastasia. Tracy. Hello, Tracy. Scorched rice pudding. <laughs> Bacora? I don't know. Angel of Mercy. Hi. Okay, so it's Women's Day. It's a good day to be a woman. My pleasure, Joe Davis. Thank you so much for the super chat. I was so happy to have to like learn about this game that only one of us has to pay the money. You know how cheap I am. This is like the ideal game. One person pays and then everyone else can play for free. Fuck yes, I'm in. I didn't know that. So extra hugs for all the women in here. Yeah. Six pack journey as I eat a bag of chips. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Practice makes your master. <laughs> Inshallah. Hi, Sigmund. How do you have so much to clean? I don't know because I, I'm not well, so it takes me a while to do like certain things. I don't know, honestly. It seems. I'm curious what's going to happen. You know, there's certain times during the year where YouTube like like they do kind of like an audit of of the dead subs, and everybody loses a bunch of subs. I wonder if she'll lose so many that she drops under 100K. What happens then? Do they take back your check mark? I, I really genuinely don't know how that works, but it seems like it could happen with her. Where's your scat man, Pandu? Thank you for the super chat. Like, it's always dust. There's always like, you know, cat hair everywhere. To I have to vacuum all the time. You know, stuff like that. Normal stuff people do. <laughs> I can't imagine somebody having a big house with like three kids or something. Like, I don't know how they must be constantly cleaning. But somebody like able bodied and in shape would be able to do like, um, you know, normal housework in like three hours or something like that. I'm having some diet soda. It's incredible for her to even think how can someone like keep up with the cleaning in a big home? She doesn't even like, let alone raising those three kids, let alone a lot of people go out and work all day too. No, no, no. All she can picture is just the cleaning of a big home. She can't do it. What the hell? Forget the rest of it. Bunny Melon, thank you for the super chat. She absolutely does. You vacuum for fun? Get out of here. Are you trolling? I hate it. Hi, Katrina. Hey, Krista. Sorry, I missed you. <laughs> he does help me. 
but the kitchen is kind of my thing, you know. What kind of chips did you have, Katrina? Thank you, Lynn. You're so sweet. Yeah, and we do brush her. She has her brushy brush and her comey comb time. But it just never, ever ceases to, uh... That's a lie. Brushy brush and her comey comb. Then why is she so matty matted? Every time we see that cat, her, her fur is in god-awful shape. Uh, you can see the matting. Brushy brush and comey comb. Go down. It's crazy. And some cats just don't really shed that much. Oh, wait. The cat has brushy brush and comey comb time, just like Chantal and her fake husband have sexy sex time. And then she has shower showery time. Got it. Okay, it's one of those. Lost Girl, thank you so much for the super chat. What an empty, unsatisfying victory. Yeah, nobody watching. Bought her subs. Like, what even is the point? Locked in a shit box in the sky. Not a person on this planet Earth gives a shit about her. Yeah, that's the legacy. We're all jealous. No way, CM. Hi, Lizette. <laughs> so, the chips we have here. I'm eating local chips. Wait, where are they from? They're ketchup flavored. They're called Mickey. And they're called Heartbreakers. They're from Kuwait, yeah. They have a Weren't those little bags of chips supposed to be for the guests? Again, during Ramadan? Mm-hmm. Teaspoon, thank you for the super chat. I love that, too. I just, I can't get over it. 230 people watching a stream, and the stream is, let's celebrate 100K. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. 110 calories per bag. GMO-free. They're called Mickey. Heartbreakers. They're heart shaped like waffle chips, kind of. And they have a clown on the package. They're really interesting. <laughs> they have interesting chips here. I don't know. They're well, you are what you eat, clown. Have a sue, mom. Thank you for the super chat. You are absolutely correct. She is a verified animal abuser. Let her keep that little check mark, too. We're really good. The sound of vacuuming, he would fall asleep. No way, really? Oh, the cleanest carpets, yeah. Oh, hey, Gypsy Rock. Thank you for the super chat. If I had to guess, it's because she's too lazy to slap a hijab on. Um, she's probably laying in that sideways, like, walrus pose that she does. She's smoking the vape. She's eating the chips. There's probably, like, wrappers all around her. She's an absolute wreck. She's in a filthy room. No cam. But I love the no cam. I would rather watch this little cartoon every day. <laughs> oh, Mickey, you're so fine. Your chips below my mind. Hey, Mickey. Sorry, I'm eating in your ear. Who cares, Moody Beauty? Go for a walk. Hey, Olga, how about you take a hike? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I do have to go for a walk, yeah. I can't even. Yeah, it's true. Thanks, Olga, for reminding. Remember, two days ago, she was going to do so many things yesterday. Okay, yesterday, nothing happened. So here she is live today. And what's she doing? Stuff in her face. Hey, Olga, go take a hike. Chantal, you were supposed to be doing so many things. Where's all the things? Where's the walk? Scatman was supposed to take you on those walks every night and stuff. Yeah, he's walking. He's walking somewhere else to hit up a red room. Well, you stuff your face on those chips. Ammo, thank you for the super chat. You're absolutely right. She blamed her depression for her neglecting of like BBJ and Sam. She's been depressed. I can't imagine what life she's giving to that cat and rat fink. 100% correct. Hate on Olga for that right now. <laughs> Thank you, Colleen. Funyuns, yeah. Hi, Lizette. Did I say hi to Lizette? Oh, Thank yeah, you so much, Raya Renee. I appreciate that, girl. <clears throat> we can go for, oh, not tonight. Yeah, it's like, what, two in the morning? All the gins are out at two in the morning. The gins aren't out at two in the morning. You're the fucking gin and you're locked in a shit box in the sky. 2.30 in the morning and you're leaned over vaping, stuffing your face on chips. Go to bed. Go to bed. Tabarnak, Chantal, what are you doing? And when she talks about staying up all night, I'm like, oh yeah, my sleep pattern is all fucked. Well, Scatman's in the chat, allegedly. So is it your schedule that's all fucked up? His schedule's all fucked up too? Or is this a... The pretty obvious indicator that it's pissy poo running that account. I 
I should go down. Down to the beach at sun. Yeah, sunrise. Or what, sunset? No. I don't know if they have Funyuns here. I've never seen them. Yeah, I know striper change is so easy. This is a small bag. That's why we just buy the small small bags now. But okay, I'm done. You can easily. They only have like a. Okay, lime jello, fair, but you're not about to lose a leg. Eh? Live your life. It's Friday, bish. See, they're very small bags, but you can easily eat more if you're not careful. Hot fries, yeah. Do I like hot Cheetos? Not really. I like normal Cheetos. I do have Instagram, Chantal YouTube. Now we have like, um, in Canada, we have a cheesies. They're called Hawkins cheesies. And they're like only in Canada. And they're crunchy. And they're so salty. But they're so good. <laughs> I don't like tackies either. Zach, we want Lumberjack on cam. Why would you want lumberjack on cam if lumberjack decides to make a channel maybe you'll see lumberjack on cam this is a reaction channel this is not a vlog channel people come here for reactions here i'll give you an example zach you look like a tiny little bitch in your photo why don't you learn how to shut your face huh or or not have a photo that makes you look like such a bitch coming in to be such a bitchy little troll see right that that was a reaction that's not a vlog I don't know how people like those. I don't Tiny know. Tiny ass little bitch. Hot Cheetos are overrated, yeah. Fucking yeah. side sweat bangs like a bitch. Would you feel safe walking around Kuwait at night? Yeah, I would. Kuwait, to what? contrary to what people believe. Deidre, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Yes, the big celebration of 200 of them. Wow, legacy. When they think of Middle East, they think of like, just, you know... Just the worst things, you know, it's actually really safe here. Oh, they're cheesy. I don't know. The blue Takis look like they would just be, they're just so artificial. I don't know. You know. Thank you, Jamie. Hi, Kitty Charms. Hi. I want to visit the Middle East sometime. Yeah, I hope you get to, Katrina. Where do you want to go? I wish I had Hold on a second. You're probably hear my bed squeak. <laughs> things are cute. God, she's so dry tonight. This is not a celebration. This is the same thing as always. You, you're lonely and you're chatting with the chat. Like it's on a call with a friend. Where's the celebration? Where's all the things we were supposed to see? You've shown us nothing. Gypsy Rock, thank you again for the super chat, girl. Smee is the skipper on Peter Pan. Why'd she call her mom that? I have no idea. What? Oh, good, kitty. What did you have? I've, I've been to Dubai Airport, but never to Dubai. Last time I went to Canada, I took, I think, was it last time I went to Canada, I took Emirates <clears throat> on the way there. And uh, we have to go to the Dubai Airport, which, in all honesty, I prefer the Doha one. Turkey, Dubai, Kuwait, mostly to go on a double date with you guys. <laughs> Blue pot, I got verified, that's why. 101K. Oh, shoot, hold on. I'm not on live chat. Sorry, guys. Maybe I missed some of your comments, but I don't think so. Creep and sheep. Thank you for the super chat. My thoughts? Delicious, delicious, delicious. If I had to pick, I would probably pick Chive. Should come visit Texas. <gasps> Barbecue. Is it halal? <laughs> Celebrating chips, but making it 10K. Orange is the worst flavor color. It's the worst for health, isn't it? Shisha chips and soda is not the way to six-pack. I know, Brenda. I need willpower. <laughs> um, if you're verified, it just means you have that little check mark beside your name. But I guess I'm <laughs> thank you for the super chat, Pixie. You know, I don't like those cheesies. They're they're kind of weird. I know it's like a Canadian staple and stuff, but eek, don't like. Um, I'm sorry, this just <laughs> took me out. <laughs> Zach, do you have bitch titties? Yes. And he shimmies them around while he side sweeps his bangs. People. I don't know if that's not, that's just for iPhone because for me it shows up on my phone, you know. But yeah, I can also request a plaque. I was like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still skeptical, but I'm like, yes, my, my subs are you know kind of remaining the same and growing a bit. So I just want to thank you guys, you know, for my channel growing. Um, I don't know, like you know, sometimes I see people say, hey, I'm new here, but think about it. Whenever you subscribe to a channel, you don't always comment or you know, I never. When I subscribe to a channel, I hardly ever comment. Like sometimes, but. <clears throat> thank you, Kitty. Hello, barbecue. Why don't you show your face anymore? No.
That's kind of a weird thing, eh? When she subs to a channel, she doesn't participate in the chat, but she wants and hopes that everybody will participate in her chat. It's it's a little weird. Why would you sit lurking like a creep? Unless, you know, it's because you subscribe to all like the reaction channels and stuff and you have to lurk like a creep. <laughs> Chantal's flaccid foreskin clothing line. Thank you for the super chat. Chantal has such creative names for things. Fishy fish, brushy brush. Hey, Chins, take a walkie walk. <laughs> oh, that's okay. My leg is sore, Siam. That's why I'm like, sometimes it's just late and I don't feel like getting dressed up and, you know, putting hijab on. And I just want to be comfortable and just chill with you guys. Like, it's more comfortable for me. But uh, I'm definitely going to show my face again. Maybe like tomorrow. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feet. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jethro. Isn't Jethro a band name or something? I'm glad you like time? it, Rabbit Rabbit Sugar. Thank you for the super chat. She's having seal time in bed. <laughs> I saw. So my wardrobe blue pot is huge. It's like the size of our whole wall, and it's a mirror. Like it's a whole mirror. Okay, when you close the doors, and I just like looked over the other day. Well, I do this quite often now, but and I just happened to see myself sealing out, and I'm like, I actually literally look like a seal because of the way my. I just she, she sees herself sealing out. She's turned it into a thing. You can't take that and turn it into a thing. First of all, and it's not seal, it's walrus. You're way, way past seal size. You're walrusing the fuck out. It's not cute. Like She's like, oh, look at me. I'm just a little dainty walrus. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what sound a walrus makes, but I picture it being something like, <laughs> So picture this freak trying to get in walrus position with a bag of chips in one hand, a vape in the other, like, and just like grunting her way along a couch. Ugh. Tracy, thank you for the super chat. Happy Friday to you. Body shaped. And then right at the bottom, I have two little feet that look like little flippers. <laughs> and then Julia, she sits like a seal right beside me. It's the best feeling, I gotta say. I can live like this forever, but I know it won't make me healthier. <laughs> How many countries have you visited? Moonflower, um, the U.S., Cuba, Qatar, and Kuwait. So, like, four. Am I forgetting anything? Oh, in Thailand, five. How can I forget Thailand? Oh, yeah. Because something happened in that hotel so bad, you're trying to block that whole ass trip out of your mind. That's how her celebration is all that crunching. You're right. Her celebration is just snacking. Yay, I got my check mark. Let me celebrate. <laughs> you didn't have to come live with that for real. Oh, foodie, be foodie beauty. Thank you for the super chat. Booty, damn it. <laughs> like if you're currently snacking, well, enjoy your snacks. It's Friday. Woo! Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. She just said she can't eat blue tackies because they look so artificial. LOL. So does that mean Nashies are 100% organic and natural? Absolutely. So were the gallons of fucking twisty misties she used to take down. Oh, God. She likes all the soft drinks, which, like, so do I. But that shit's toxic as shit. What's a blue tacky going to do to you? Come on. Oh, and how could I forget? How could you fear a blue tacky when you showed up for the first date at a stranger's house and picked a meth pipe up off of the, uh, the floor and smoked the drugs that were in it? Oh, but God forbid the blue tacky's gonna fuck you up. Like an idiot. <laughs> Pixie, thank you for the super chat. No, Cam, he's on, but we can't hear him. Susslar, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kitty. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, Lizette, no, not at all. Like, my hair's thin, but it's, like, better than it was, for sure. Um, I've been using treatments and things. Yulia, that beach, thank you for the super chat. She liked the Qatar airport because, remember, she got, like, carted around. She didn't have to walk pretty much a step. That's why it's her, like, preference. But when I first met him, I would wear, like, a cap because my hair was, like, short, short, like, small. And he like took it off and he's like, you know, you don't have to be shy around me. Like we're married, you know, we're married. And so, yeah, he makes me feel good. Maybe you can use an AI avatar when you don't feel like coming on. Yeah, that's what this is here. The beezing hour. Someone made it for me. <laughs> Miss Jamila, if you're nasty, thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy Friday. Okay. Yeah. Some people might see it. Some people might not. Yeah. See, and we don't deal with time change. The Navy Abaya seal cosplay. <laughs> with some soda, root beer, and pizza. I know. I want pizza. Congratulations. You have worked hard to get whistling in when during nap time on those stupid cots and it wasn't me but they thought it was me and they put me my cot out in the hall to sleep it was mean anyway um so grade one 
Maybe they, I didn't even, I don't care enough to go back and hear the beginning of that story, but I'm just knowing what we know. I'm guessing they put you in the hole to sleep, not because of the squeaking cop, but because you smell like blue cheese. One, so grade kindergarten, I think to grade eight, I might be getting it wrong. And then grade nine to grade 13, because if you wanted to go to, back then, if you wanted to go to university, you had to do a, a course called OAC. But the, I think I skipped grade 12. So like I went from 11 to 13 and the 13 was like a university prep. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so. Um, no, he didn't leave Cornwall Fufu Egg. <laughs> I think he bought a little, like, a little bungalow right down from the school that we used to go to, which is now bulldozed. And, um, he has, like, a, I don't know, a couple kids or something like this. My biggest bully confessed he loved me. That happens, Nosferatu. Yeah. You can buy KD shaker powder. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Hi, Lynn. Hearts for you. My girlfriend started saying that I had to punch her. What? What are you talking about? No abuse. I hated PE back in the day. Yeah, me too. I always hated it. That's where I got my lowest marks, of course. Because you had to, like, they always wanted us to play the stupid um, trampoline or, like, a parachute or something. Oh, I fucking loved it. We didn't call it PE. We called, we just called it gym. I fucking loved gym so much. That was the highlight of my goddamn day. And then, oh, I don't know why, when you were, like, a teenager for no reason at all, they segregated the, the gym classes. And it was, like, all the girls together and no boys in the gym class and stuff. So it, me and my best friend were so fucking good at like just sports in general, soccer, tennis. And I, they used to put me and her against the rest of the class and we'd still smoke the shit out of them. It was like a joke. You know what I mean? Why they needed to split up the boys and the girls. It was so stupid. Take that competition away. It was ugh, just ridiculous. But figures she didn't like it. Figures. Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. You know, she stopped eating. She could go for like three to five years without needing to eat again. Is that not the craziest shit you've ever heard in your life? Oh, that's some fat shit right there. Holy crap. Zinka Cat, thank you for the super chat. Oh, no, I don't super chat often. I'm mostly because chat's too fast for my slow typing. <laughs> I get it. We have it. I have it slowed down to a minute. I feel like if I slow it down more, it's it's boring. You know what I mean? Like, you got to wait already a minute to fucking say something. Oi. Mars Bruce, thank you for the super chat. The walruses have more mobility than this, but that's a good point. It was quite insulting to walruses, what I just said, but it was the closest to her, you know what I mean? But yeah, they can still like fucking stick and move compared to this heifer. Kathy Brown, thank you for the super chat. Imagine being 40 years old and your only friends are faceless names on the internet. I love that for her. It's uh, her legacy. Finds <laughs> duck, duck, goose, and I can never catch the person. <laughs> Like, I hated P.E. I was not, you know, not. I bet everybody picked her duck, duck, goose because she can never catch you. Every single person must have picked her fat ass. Shannon, what was gym class like with Chantal? This is a, a question I don't, I never thought to ask before. This is wild. Miranda, thank you for the super chat. She needs to thank Mr. Snowflake for all the extra publicity. I totally agree. And just sidebar on the Mr. Snowflake thing, I still have not watched. And I still am getting emails and comments about it and stuff. We will watch it together this weekend on Twitch. I fucking promise, okay? For anybody who hasn't yet watched it or, well, I don't know, wants to watch it again, I have not watched it. Amanda, thank you for the super chat. Oh, girl, that's very, very nice of you to say. Maybe go check your eyes a little bit. Maybe, maybe glasses. But that's still very nice of you to say. Physically, um, that wasn't my forte, basically. And I was always picked last. Or if we played murder ball, I was always the first one out. Not the hall caught. Yes. My pleasure, KK. Thank you for the super chat. Oh. <laughs> Who's that wonderful girl? Could she be any cuter? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh look. Here comes a suitor. I sing it to her so much. Oh my gosh. Napping on yoga like pads. Oh yes, those pads. <laughs> my childhood memories are so vivid. I know. Mahaba. Ali wasalin. Okay, my right, Lisa. Thank you for the super chat again, girl. What was I doing in my 20s? Um, oh, I'll tell you exactly what you were doing in your 20s. You actually worked for a while and then you met Bibi and woo, life was good and blah, blah, blah. And then you got fired because you're fucking lazy and you brought your shit attitude to work. Uh, so when you got fired, you decided to start up your YouTube channel and then you lied to BB about looking for a job and what you actually were doing was looking for an easy way to sit on your fat ass all day and stuff your face. 
into a career and bam, you got what you wanted, but you lost the baby. You lost every friend you ever had. You lost your mobility and you're about to lose a foot. So was it worth it? I don't know. Uh, I went away to university. She went to university for two fucking weeks. Two weeks. Don't start with that shit. I went away to university. Two weeks. You you shouldn't even tell people you went to university. Two weeks doesn't fucking count. It's like when you tell people you've been to Qatar. You've been to the fucking airport. It doesn't count. You don't get to say you went to university when you only went for two fucking weeks. God, she's such a liar. Where's your scat man, Pondu? Forget being the queen of girl world. She's the queen of arrested development. Hell yeah. Stuck in the past completely. Peaked at high school and she was a fucking loser in high school. So let that sink in. That's when you peaked. When you were a fucking loser. I don't get it. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Grade 13 OAC Ontario Academic Credit University Prep. Okay. We have nothing like that here. We have grade 11. After grade 11, you go to CJEP here. You know, no, no preps. No, but I guess CJEP is the university prep. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Sussy Wolfcat, thank you for the super chat. Hi, hey, Frenchie, I don't believe this 100K thing. Didn't her numbers start going down right after her 100? Yeah, and then they like went right back up. It's the weirdest thing. It's, well, I don't know. I don't know what to say, but now they seem to have like stuck at 101K. They're not dipping all over the place anymore. So I really don't know. I, I don't understand what the hell happened there. Unlucky Yart. Thank you for the super chat. This is for in case you don't bless my birthday tomorrow with a stream. Much love, Frenchie. Well, happy early birthday to you. Girl, enjoy it. Have a great birthday weekend. To become a teacher. I was doing my undergrad and I was living with my aunt. And then I came back. I dropped out, came back, went to work. Um, I played outside baseball when I got headed back and farted so badly that I laughed instead of going after the ball. <laughs> Lynn, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh joe d thank you for the super chat okay anybody who wants to twitch who doesn't know how to get to twitch there's a link down below you can click the link or you just put in twitch.tv slash french fried girl and it's french fried girl all one word and then you'll be at the twitch and from there i will explain how to get to the game because i've never done it before either this is going to be like a learning experience for all of us but there's a site to go to for the game so I'll explain it later on Twitch. Dodgeball sucks. <clears throat> Excuse me, miss. I'm here to celebrate your good times. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ready, set, beat. Oh, oh, Mike. Very important. These are, oh, I love your cat. Congratulations, Miriam. Ready, set, bees. Ready, set, bees. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for being a beezer. Hold on. I wonder if she just dips. Where'd you where'd you go? Yes. Yeah, they let classmates do hard falls at you and then wonder why their generation end up with anxiety. Yeah, seriously. What do you uh yeah, Nostra too? Well, there's good ones out there too. Don't lose hope. Blue pot. What do I order for today? Perfect for? Feral girl. Thank you for the super chat girl. Okay. Oh hi, giggle spit. Hello, Rose. <laughs> yeah, Desert Rose. It's called the Flight Channel. I like how they do their videos. Hi, Carrie. Thank you. I've ordered Papa John's for dinner. The garlic knots are the best. I've never tried those. Cannibalism for dinner, so by Thank you, Rose. Look at Jamie trying to start a fight on this Good Friday. You know it's a chicken burger. God damn it, man. Oh, wait, wait. Shannon came through with the logical answer. Jamie, if it's on a bun, it's a burger. Mm, it is. It is. I appreciate that. Oh, and that weird chicken burger thing that Chantal buys at uh, Burger King before you start. Well, it's not on a bun and it's not a round thing. And so that's why I call it the weird long chicken burger. It's just a weird long chicken burger. We're not doing this every Friday. They're taking down TikTok for good. Oh, really? They're thinking about it? Um, I don't know why. Why would they do that? <clears throat> Round oh, bun. God damn it. Oh, Heather. Um, 
I have a lot of them, I guess. Thank you, MJ. It was yum, yeah. They put a lot of chicken on the ones here. Yeah, see, yum, it was gonna be uh <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Lost girl, thank you for the super chat. Remember that Alanis Moore song song? Alanis Moore song? What? Alanis Moore set song when we were kids? Isn't it ironic? It's like dropping the plaque on your diabetic foot and then it doesn't fucking heal and you lose that foot. Isn't it ironic? <laughs> <laughs> Rosemary. Sounds fair. Oh no. Blue pot. That sucks. Remember Connors? You should read a story's ASMR style. Yeah, I should. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think reading stories like is copyright, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, it's been rumored for years. Makes sense exactly. Hi, space specs appeal. Hello. Uh, uh, Rose, I don't know. I think I saw your comment. I didn't approve it. I have no idea. I've seen it on the news. I feel bad because a lot of people. Well, yeah, that's weird. I don't know. It sounds like paranoia. They should. I don't think they should ban it. But I don't think that TikTok spies on anyone. Just like, you know, probably other like Apple. So many other apps do that. Right, Beedra. Thank you for the super chat. My feet are fine. I can feel them. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, great. So, like, y'all, I've never tried them. Are they good? No, I swear. I think I did. Go back and check. I don't know why that wouldn't be approved, honestly. Because you have a point. Like, I guess I just don't think about it because, like, you know, with the advertising, the cameo thing with, like, because, like, most of my, I would say over 95% of my audience are from the U.S. Or, like, 90% are from the U.S. Then there's, like, like 8% or something from Canada. <clears throat> I have very little viewership, like, uh, you know, like, <laughs> from other regions. Like, there's some from Australia, U.K., Germany, stuff like that. But there's a few, there's some in Kuwait, but it's mostly, you know, U.S., and I don't have, probably have that many um, Muslim viewers. So I was trying to appeal to like my larger audience. Oh, you're full of shit. You're trying to make as much money as possible. And you're cosplaying as a Muslim. That's why you did that little Easter e-bag for the cameo. But then you heard all the criticism about it. And so for today's video, suddenly there's a Ramadan e-bag. Yeah, convenient timing. But no, you don't watch reaction channels or like read the, the fucking boards about you and shit like that. Mm-mm. Um, you know, and then like, I looked it up and I'm like, it says that we can wish, you know, like Christian, like our fellow Christians. Or... All right. Listen, <laughs> scooch over hijab cheese. Someone's else getting in the trunk. It's a sandwich. If it's on like a square bread or like, a, I don't, I don't fucking know. You know what a sandwich is. Let's not play this fucking game every week. Ah, oh, where's your scat men pondu? Thank you for the super chat, but you're so fucking wrong. If it's on a bun, it's a fucking burger. If it's a hot dog bun, it's not a round bun. You know that's not a burger. Shut up. If it has to be something, a hot dog is a sandwich. Okay? It's not a burger. It's a sandwich. Holidays, but then some people think that it's like, you know, you shouldn't be helping them celebrate. I don't know. So that's why I did that. The replies get held for review too, Rose, and I just forget to like sift through them. <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> no no see donna i don't think she hates the states at all she loves the states states has all the food she wants to eat and stuff and the abundance and but before pete's was in her ear all the time about the states and his opinion about it uh then there was Koki in her ear about the states and his opinion about it and now he has dumb fuck in her ear with his opinion about the states and all his fuckery about it it's not her opinion. It's whatever man's in her life. She regurgitates their opinion at us. Hate it. But does he, wait, but does he spermy? Oh no, sperm everywhere. Thank you for the super chat, but does he? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Developing news. Breaking news. Febreze has apple mango tango spray. Oh, shit. I have not seen that. Thank you for the news, but does he? I'm going to look into it. That's why. But yeah, I do keep, keep it, like, kind of tight on the comments because I don't want, like, a negative environment, you know? 
How do you think a lot of Canadians don't see your channel? I don't know pink season. It's so weird. Yeah, I'm staying in Kuwait specs. You're doing right, no worries. Thanks, Ryan. Listen, Nehru, <laughs> with your American super chat. Uh, first of all, thank you for the super chat. Second of all, you're wrong. And whatever uh, it was Google, mm, American company, American agenda. I don't want to hear it. This is blubagumba. She's almost a 40-year-old woman. She can do what she wants. Hi, Blondie. Yeah, I stopped smoking shisha, but I'm still vaping here and there. Obviously, I'm having trouble uh, kicking that habit rose, obviously. I'm sure she has not stopped smoking shisha. We all know she hasn't stopped smoking shisha. She's just vaping because she can do it a little more stealth. The other night, she was pretending not to smoke at all. That's why. Mm -hmm. The shisha's just when she's offline. Pharaoh girl, thank you for the super chat. Loses a foot every day. <laughs> God. If you hear me vaping, you know. <laughs> Will you dress your action saying you go to food banks? It's so ridiculous. Um, no, we don't. I don't even know if there are food banks here. I, I have no, I don't think, I'm not sure, but I know there's charities, but no, we don't go to food banks. And even if we did, I don't see what the uh, issue is. There it is. There it is. We don't go to food banks. But even if we did, we all know as a community what that means. That means, of course, we go to the fucking food banks. And now we've been found out with those photos and she'll it's like semantics we don't go to a food bank we go to the grocery store okay but you go over to the bins in the grocery stores that are like food bank bins but even if we do <laughs> never more thank you for the super chat it definitely could be you know people i mean if people have to use them but we don't you know mashallah we don't have to but no it's sometimes no like certain grocery stores have really good sales that's all it is how would it be bad to be kind to someone and wish? Yeah, we know like one KD, two KD, three KD sales. Mm, we saw Janet Pirate. Thank you for the super chat. No, Canada, Canada. <laughs> Stop it with your USA. Some good holiday of theirs. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it is. Zero nicotine vapes. No, I didn't even know those existed. Yeah, exactly, Rose. <laughs> Hello, Nuto Squishy. I don't see what the big issue is with a lot of things. There isn't. There's just not really much to react to anymore. That's why people are desperate and reaching for things that don't matter. No, no, no. See, it matters to us. It matters to us a lot because when you were balling, you love to throw it in people's faces, how little they had and stuff. So now it's kind of fun to throw it back in your fat fucking face. And another thing, speaking of that fat fucking face, that fat fucking face doesn't need all those groceries that we see a few times a month. That means that fat fucking face is taking advantage of those food bank bins at the grocery store. And then what stuffs into that fat fucking face doesn't get stuffed into the face of somebody who might actually need it and might actually be hungry and not uh, able to afford the food at the grocery store. So, yeah, we're going to keep talking about it. And yeah, we're going to keep criticizing it. And it's nobody is like broke shaming her. Let's be very clear because we all understand what this is going to become. Oh, they shame us for using a food bank. No, we shame you from literally taking food out of people who might need its mouth, lying to the audience. And, you know, when you were making your shit ton of money, taking dunks on people who couldn't afford things and people who had less than you. Suck it now. Hey, Motel 6, Motel 6, and Motel 6, and Yabba lives in a trailer. And so, you'd be so fucking lucky to be in a Motel 6 or a trailer, you fucking heifer. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. Sloppy Joe. Hmm. That's an interesting one. <laughs> it's a burger. It's on a bun. It's a burger. No, Rose, I don't actually, though, lie a lot. I don't. What do I lie about? Oh my God. I tried zero nicotine vapes. Okay, here we go. She's getting all defensive too. I don't lie a lot. What do I lie about? Because you, you just lied to us. That's why the defenses are up. Because you just lied about the food bank. Lisa Barrett, thank you again for the super chat. That would be adorable. I like it a lot. Uh, Lilith Pad, thank you for the super chat. Hello. Happy Friday. And just the fact that you're awesome. Address it. Thank you, Silvio. <laughs> Bitch, you gotta learn to share the trunk. Thank you for the super chat. Now scoot over. Where you can put your leftover food for people to take. Ah, oh, get out of here. Did you know that, babe? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's a religion supposed to be a super tolerant, respectful, whatever. Yeah, it is. You know, it really is. 
I ordered a chicken finger platter. This place has the best honey mustard. Honey mustard. Oh, actually, if it's good honey mustard, yeah. <laughs> There's no shame in food banks. Apparently, they're now analyzing the labels on the carrots, and it matches the food bank. What? There's no... First of all, there's no label on the carrots, and they've... Oh, the lie. It's a... The first comment is a lie. We're trying to cover... Up. First of all, there's no label on the carrots. I just pulled up the picture. Everybody saw the label on the carrots. Go on, liar. Vegetables come from um, an online grocery store, not from a food bank at all. I can actually, the next time the sale is on, I can actually screenshot the vegetables to show you if you like. That's from a grocery store. <laughs> like, it's... Yeah, but the picture that I showed at the beginning of the stream is a grocery store. It's not an actual food bank. It's like a food bank stall in a grocery store. I knew it. She was going to play on like words like this. Oh, no, we don't go to a food bank. We go to a grocery store. I said it before she fucking said it. I knew it. This bitch is so goddamn predictable. We don't go to a food bank. Okay, you just go to the food bank, like, section in the grocery store. It's it's obvious. Listen, the, 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 the sticker on the carrots gives it away. Where's your chicken? Oh, you bitch! Chicken burger pondu. Canada. So stupid. Promise me I'll stop reacting to reactions of reactions. I don't even, I don't do that anymore, Blue Pot. Hi, Georgia girl. I've been live for 52 minutes. Oh, gal, Charlotte, I got pissed off and changed my name and someone took it after 15 years. Aw, you mean the handle? That sucks. Somebody took Foodie B, I don't care. I, I only, like, Foodie Beauty, the handle's been gone for a long time. So Foodie B, th that was just like a makeup one, I don't care. It doesn't matter, I'm not changing my name back. It's verified now. Um, the plaque will have that name, so it's it's a done deal. The plaque will only have that name when you order the plaque. What are you waiting for? Let's fucking like hold her to this. Okay, if you don't mind your plaque saying everyday Miriam, why would you wait? You're an impatient motherfucker and you're on borrowed time. So you don't necessarily have the time to wait. You'd like to see that plaque and hold it in your trotters, I suppose, right? Why are you waiting? Order your plaque right now. If you know, you're not waiting to switch your name back to Footy Beauty and then get your plaque. Uh-huh. Uh, Sarah Bear, <laughs> finally, the voice of reason the logical mind in the room. I appreciate it. Thank you for the super chat. And thanks for fucking just uh, being logical. Okay. <laughs> they, you all, they will bow to their maple syrup loving bacon eating overlords. Damn. If you had, are you choose one shuisin? What do you mean Beatrice? What's a shuisin? A cuisine? I probably look like Smeagol. Who said that? Hi. 1027 Anno. That's very cute. Thank you for the super chat. But what Arby's sells isn't a burger or a sandwich. That is some kind of a fucking crime against humanity on a bun. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lord Baroque, but it's the truth. Perry Pixie. Damn it. Thank you for the super chat. Canada. You're spelling Canada wrong. Just so you know. Z. Hi, sweet Marie. Congratulations, getting verified and getting a very well deserved black. Thank you, Shelly. I appreciate that. Yeah, last week, Blue Pot, but a week is a long time for me not to do something, right? <laughs> Delini, thank you for the super chat, girl. It's on Tal Timeline. I always look forward to being on here when you're live. I like that you actually respond to people and talk to us. I really appreciate that. I'm alone a lot, and all, all I got to this world is my boyfriend. Oh, Lynn. Thank you. I'm alone a lot, too, you know, mostly by choice. <laughs> and all I have is my husband, my cats, and, you know, family, and that's a lot for me. I'm happy. I'm thankful. Oh, yeah, Elaine, thank you for the super chat. We knew this is a group because last stream or maybe the one before it, I don't remember, earlier this week, Chantal claimed, again, that there was no food banks in Kuwait. So we went over to Google while we were live and poof, of course there are. Of course there are. But specifically, those stickers on her carrots, they definitely do look like they came from that grocery store, um, like, bin. And I think that is why she keeps insisting, like, we don't go to a food bank. Okay, okay, but you're still getting, like, the food bank food at a grocery store. Nima Marie, wifey number three, thank you for the super chat. She ain't ordering no plaque. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> when this, I, I want to say when the shit is over. When this part of the cosplay is over and she can go back to Foodie Beauty, the day she switches her shit back to Foodie Beauty, she's getting that plaque. Rachel, thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, but I'm going to have to block you. 
So I'm thankful for you guys too. I really appreciate you guys. Yeah, exactly, Muto. No, I'm not going to live my life to try to prove anything I know. I'm just saying, like, it's, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so sorry, is. Lord Barone. Thank you for the super chat. People on the vegetables. I don't know what people are talking about. I don't know. I wish I could help you, help you uh, guys out there with that. You don't need to help anybody with anything. You've been lying about it already. Listen, everybody figured it out anyway. Thank you to the person who tagged me in it on Twitter. You don't have to help a goddamn thing. You just keep lying and we're just going to keep figuring things out. And you can keep on saying, what have I ever lied about? Why am I a liar? I'm not a liar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 100% sparkly Sprite Pondu. Thank you for the super chat. Really? I could do more though sometime. Um, the food bank wouldn't even be shame, shameful with inflation record numbers are using them. Yeah. I mean, well, if people genuinely need the food bank, like I would not use the food bank if um, with making the money that we make, you know, like if we can afford takeout almost every day and, you know, huge grocery hauls, you know, I would not use the food bank. Um, well said. The fact that you order takeout almost every day and you're still taking advantage of that food bank is disgusting and shameful. Okay. Cosplay. Definitely not the spirit of uh, a Muslim right before Ramadan, but it wasn't the spirit of a Muslim either to leave the desert and all the children behind without a goddamn drop to drink when they wake up in the morning. So par for the course with your behavior. Of course you're buying up everything at the, at the food bank stall at the grocery store. I bet out of spite too, because she's such an asshole. Whatever they don't bite, she like uh, bite buys. She either like slams it on the ground to bruise every piece of vegetable or spits on the bags. Cause she is that asshole. Rye M, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it very much. If people really genuinely need it, then there's no shame whatsoever in having a, you know, needing it and having hard times, especially like with inflation, exactly. You know, like being middle class and, and working full time is still like people are still not making it. You know, I've seen um, on the news people who are um, basically, no, I won't have Foodie Beauty. Foodie Beauty is. You fucking asked for it. Rai M. Thank you for the super chat. Happy early birthday to you. First name Rai, last name M. Birthday March 10th, possibly 9th, but I'm leaning to 10th. Bam, docs. Be careful what you wish for, bitch dead and gone tracy it's it's a new era now <laughs> alpha c tango hello i don't think that's an option pixie i really don't i've never seen anybody's that doesn't have the um account name like channel name on it thank you for the super chat i don't know so yeah like i've seen on the news uh you know some families like they can't even you know it's i don't know it's just uh it's just hard so <laughs> Blue pot, here come the conspiracy. Okay, the word is traded. All right, we traded our goalie. Uh, extra toe pondu, thank you for the super chat. And you know what? Fucking loser ass. Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna dog my team in front of you Americans like that. That's what you want me to do. Let the goalie go, let every single fucking person go. It wouldn't make a goddamn difference. Chris, you stealing from the poor. Yeah, sure. I don't think people put like bags and bags of uh, fresh groceries, new groceries in there. Maybe they do. Actually, maybe I will do that. Like go through like food that, you know, I, I don't want it to go to waste. So, but not just that, maybe I'll make like a nice little package and go deliver it or something. I'm definitely going to be working more on, um, you know, the charity side of um, things, you know, especially being Muslim. That's like a huge pillar. So, you know. Oh my God. It's like a huge pillar, you know? Says the taker. Stop trying to force religion down our throat. I'm, I'm really sick to death of that. From a cosplayer, from the taker herself. Don't teach us about the lessons of Islam. Why don't you fucking learn a few yourself? Jesus Christ, Chantal, you're disgusting. Retired redneck, thank you for the super chat. She can always chisel foodie beauty into the plaque on her teeth if she can't get her channel name changed. <laughs> she certainly can. Oh, that's the legacy plaque right there. Damn. FJDKRS, thank you for the super chat. Whoever knows the different movements in Muslim prayer, can you even imagine Chantal trying to do them? Absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. If she can stand on her knees like that, how the fuck is she going to either get that like down further or up? She's stuck there for the rest of her life. She better hope to God she's not doing it alone. She just rolls over like a walrus, ends up in walrus pose. They come and like find her there. Oh, yo, yo. I believe now, like when you feel blessed, you should share with others. I've always been like that. I've always been generous. I gave away a whole laptop. Like, come on. <laughs> you know, I've, um, I'm very generous when I have. Go fuck yourself. You're not generous at all. You're a taker. You're an asshole. You were making 20 grand a month. You never even sent Lambo the coffee that she won. You did a scam postcard club. Just trying to milk more money out of your audience. You were pulling in 20 grand a month. You are not a giver. You're not generous in any way. You are a me, 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 me taker. You gave away the laptop because you traded it for drugs. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever. Cut the shit. Next, she's going to tell us, you know, I'm just so generous. I was paying the crackhead's rent and paying all his bills. Yeah, so he would pork you. Come on, man. You do nothing if it's not for you. Nee Marie, wifey number three, thank you for the super chat. I hate her so much. Same. If I want to give it, I want to share, you know, to people who don't have a lot. Fucking bleeding heart. Shut up. You, um, you can change your name, but it, the, the verification will go. So that's basically, um, yeah, like you just have to reapply for it though. Yeah, we've been bowling, Nuto. There's a video of us bowling on our couple's channel. Made Miriam. That's what your emoji looks like. <laughs> oh, the Disney Robin Hood. Oh, yeah. Remember the Robin Hood? I remember wanting to watch that. I appreciate the respect, Beatles. Thank you for the super chat. I don't want to take Justin Bieber back, though. I don't like that little schmuck. <laughs> you stuck with him now. Too bad. And as a kid, and my mom wouldn't let me because it's so, like, rated R, you know? I remember, like, like my mom had some friends over. They were going to watch it because it was a new movie. It was the one with Kevin Costner. They were going to watch it after I was gone to bed. So I kept, I went, like, snuck down. Like, in, like in, you, there's, like, holes in between the stairs. So I would, like, try to peek. And my mom would, <laughs> would always catch me because of the squeaking of the stair. Ugh. Yes, I heard on the news about the... I was going to just talk about that, Brenda. There was a mass murder of six in Ottawa, four children and two adults. The youngest was three months old. Oh, my gosh. Like, I cannot believe the, depra the, the depravity of this, this individual. The person was 19, too. So sad. So heartbreaking. Oh, my gosh. That was in Barhaven in Ottawa. That's, like, the, the one of the most violent crimes in, uh, like, Ottawa history. Yeah, for uh, I, I, I ugh, my mouth is mush even talking about this. Yes, this happened yesterday. There was like a, it wasn't a shooting in the end. It was a stabbing, but six people dead in a family. That never happens in Canada. That's a very, very, very rare thing. It happened in a suburb of Ottawa. Somebody living in the home, um, but not like like uh, the mate or anything. Like the the mother, father, and four kids are murdered. It was it was. Oh my God. It's awful. Never happens here. It's shocking to us. Um, Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat, girl. So sad. No, I didn't trade the laptop for anything. It's not like somebody asked me for it. I just gave it. If you could choose the cuisine for the rest of life, would it be American? Uh, no, I wouldn't choose American cuisine, I don't think. I don't know. I'd have to think about that because I do like American. I love fast food, so... <laughs> But I guess if you're choosing from a health standpoint, it should probably be something else. Wow. Lord Baroque, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Blue pot. I love conspiracies, aliens, cryptids, Donald Trump, sentient wig. <laughs> what? A sentient wig? <laughs> Blue pot, yeah, true. <laughs> hey, cigarettes are freaking expensive. It's not even cool. Oh, I think my, I forgot to put plug in my um computer, so it's going to die. Don't get off. I have to cook dinner. Order dinner. Oh, I'm, I was just going to get off. <laughs> oh, sorry. I want you to be truly happy. Please put yourself first. Thank you, Cherie. Hi, Wendy. Well, Cherie, you fucking moron. Imagine telling Chantal to put herself first. I want to see you happy, cutie. For the first time in your life, for once, put yourself first. Delulu, for fuck's sake. Caroline, thank you for the super chat. This trend. And John was like, you're right. I really should for once. Yeah. Girl, me too. I love food. Been craving fried chicken and snack wrap. That's true, yeah. All the foods. I miss the Aunt Janet wig. Aunt Janet wig? Is that the which one was that? I fucking knew it, Ryan. Thank you for the super chat. Boom. Doxed. Uh 
Um, that's okay, Blue Pot. I know you gotta buy them chicken nuts. Hi, Victoria. Thank you. Mia, hello. Thanks, Georgia girl. I appreciate it, guys. I'll do something special uh, one of these days. One of these days. Two days ago, she's supposed to do something. Today, nothing. One of these days, guys, I'll do something special. It's going to be that sleep stream or whatever. <laughs> Fuck. Something special. You're really going to love it, everybody. Nima Rewifey number three, thank you for the super chat. Gave away a whole laptop. She used it for math poop. <laughs> she thinks, I don't know, again, it's been a while now. She deleted all this stuff. We all forget what happened in Cuba. We weren't there. She didn't fucking live stream the entire time she was in Cuba because she was so fucking miserable. Nope, nope. We forget. Burberry, thank you for the super chat. Foodie took sub for sub entirely too literal today. You're right. Don't worry. We haven't celebrated properly. Did you have a teenage heartthrob crush? I think Leo DiCaprio and JTT. I can't wear wigs, Desert Rose. I'm a hijabi. <laughs> oh, I love it. All of y'all saying dip. I'm going to skip way yes. ahead. Thanks, Gary. 24-hour live stream. Shakespeare. Uh, uh, yeah, um, we'll see. I'll see you guys again soon for sure. Oh! Thank you for being here and chatting. Um, I just wanted to, uh, you know, go live. It's a Friday like miracle. Camera. But uh, I'm super excited about being verified. I'm so happy. I lost my shoe. Hello. Oh, yeah, writer strong. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys later, okay? Have a good night. Oh, shit. That never fucking happens like that. You know how lucky we just got? You know how we skipped ahead and she's done? Woo! That is a Friday Night Miracle. High five, everybody. That means that we, we just watched her most recent thing, and it's over. <laughs> she didn't stay on for three fucking hours. Listen. I like that on a Friday. Chantel, always do that on a Friday. We don't need a long time. Just try and make it a good time, okay? Next, we are going to be watching what we were going to watch in the first place today. 12-inch chicken teriyaki sub sandwich, a.k.a. two sandwiches, a.k.a. Fatty's about to double fist some fucking sandwiches. Let me get the tab. Now, this one may be boring. I'm sure it is. It's fatty stuff in your face. We're going to speed it up. You know how we do. But right at the end, oh, the mask slips. It seems like she's left in a little something at the end of this video that was supposed to be edited out. And oh boy, you get a little glimpse at the real nasty. Well, hello. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. Today, I have some... Um, some stuff. I'm just making sure this one is mine because it's a lot, and I both got the same kind of stuff. But oh my god, I need to slow her down. I'm sorry, it's, it's too too fast to catch these lies. It's not like a live stream. We are <clears throat> like two seconds into this, and she's already lying. I need to see which one is mine because they each got one. They're the same, but one of them is for her, and one of them is allegedly not for her. And if you believe that, welcome to Shantopolis. You must be new. Different toppings. This mine? Yeah. Yeah. So I got chicken teriyaki, one of my favorite kinds. Bismillah. Wow. And you know what's kind of weird to me? Because she's just said that they both got the same kind. She's got a chicken teriyaki. That says to me, Salad also got a chicken teriyaki. Salad doesn't like anything, I don't want to say out there, but like out of his own like spices and, and, and culture and cuisine and stuff like that. You remember him, how weirded out he got by the pad thai and stuff. I don't necessarily believe that of any sub he could have picked, he's going to go for the uh, teriyaki. She clearly just bought herself two sandwiches. Very messy. Okay. Too many onions. Too many onions, bro. I need a bite. I'm so hungry. Mm. 
Yes, Salam. My brain wouldn't even work. I don't want chips, potatoes. I'll show you what I ate so far today. If I have to eat another home cooked meal right now, I'm gonna faint. Okay, so. <laughs> If I have to eat another home-cooked meal, says the woman who's probably eaten two since the last time she had takeout, you're going to faint? What's going to make you faint? The fact that your cooking sucks balls or that you get so fucking sweaty in the kitchen The kitchen, you can barely cook anything? Oh my God, Chantal. And listen, I'm an aficionado of overnight oats. Y'all know I talk about them plenty. I love fucking overnight oats. And not for breakfast. Like, I will eat those fuckers any time of the day. They are good. They are good when you're baked. They're good. Whatever. I can tell there is a disgusting amount of chocolate mixed into that overnight oats. To get the overnight oats, because sometimes I, I change mine up all the time. Sometimes, yeah, woo, a little drizzle of cocoa powder, a little chocolate in there. I can't even imagine how much it took to get them that color. It looks like her oats are made of chocolate. That's not a healthy meal at that point, Chantal. That's ridiculous. I just like really was craving something cake out of And and the beauty of overnight oats is that it's like a bomb to your stomach. You eat it, it's delicious, it's so comforting, and you are fucking good. You go, like, all day after that, you know? You certainly don't need two sandwiches after eating overnight oats when you don't do anything all day. That's ridiculous. Right, Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. She always acts like somebody's going to come and fucking snatch the sandwich right out of her mouth. Chicken teriyaki with cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, green peppers, black olives, sweet teriyaki, sweet onion teriyaki sauce. Cheese on teriyaki sounds disgusting. Mayo and Southwest sauce, salt and pepper. Mayo, Southwest sauce, and chicken teriyaki. No, 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 no. That's disgusting. Oh my God. That's a, she's just like loading on shit just to make it like a fattier fucking sandwich. Come on, man. Come on. Southwest sauce, mayo on chicken teriyaki. Who would do that? Cheese? Cheese on teriyaki. Ugh. What's going on? I missed you guys. Ooh, that's fun. I like that. I like to put chia in my overnight oats. I like the little, like, their little bite in the morning. Ooh, so nice. Mm. I was reading these Reddit articles and I went down a loophole and one article led to another as usual. So messy. Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. I better take this off. I don't want it to get super messy. So anyway, it's about, you know, there's another option. If you don't want to get it super messy, it's not like you're eating like a messy soup or spaghetti plate. It's a fucking sandwich. If you didn't eat like a goddamn animal, you wouldn't get filthy all the time. Uh, and Jenny, the dancer. Now I will be paying attention to her sleeves. Ew. <laughs> Fuck man. The article was about um, dumb things that people were bullied for in school <laughs> and this one girl she was bullied for standing next to a tree and they used to call her tree girl because of that and it reminded me of like my own problems in elementary school of being bullied oh and here comes the lies 
Not that she wasn't bullied. Who wouldn't have bullied this little fucker? I would, <laughs> like, let me go back in time, convince my parents to move us to Cornwall and enroll in her school just so I could be a fucking bully, Christ. Oh, everybody was probably a bully. How could you not? Look at this piece of shit comes walking down your school. Like, just just everybody fucking unleash on your whole your whole day's worth of aggro. Get her. Get her. Ugh. But now, of course, it won't be the truth about how everybody mocked you for being fat and everyone said you smell like cheese. No, I'm welfare girl. Lies. Delulu, <laughs> thank you for the super chat and the heads up. Blech. For the dumbest things. Trisha Bobisha, thank you for the super chat. We addressed that at the beginning. Hell yeah. She's so dumb. It's great. One of them was because I used to get, I used to wear these like matching jumpsuits from Sears. Sears was like the department store when I was growing up. And for okay, I, I have a prediction about this story before she even goes any further. She got made fun of for wearing matching jumpsuits because they were from Sears and they were matching. That's the story we're going to hear. I would imagine she was probably pushing 200 pounds as a little kid or a teen anyway. So picture like, like a 200 pound Chantal because she does wear that weight in a real barrel-y type way in a, like court uh what do you call those like like a jumpsuit like uh, i forget what they called those when we were young you know they were like jean whatever that would be a whole lot of gut i have a feeling that's what the kids were making fun of uh kids are cruel it is what it is but i don't think it has to do with the fact that it came from sears you grew up in cornwall okay let's not act like you grew up in a city where like I don't know. Even the little kids were spoiling shit. You grew up in broke ass, bum ass Cornwall. Everybody was wearing the same shit. Stop it. Yulia, that beach. Thank you for the super chat. Christmas. For a special occasion, I would always get gifted these hideous matching jumpsuits. Like, Right, Barbary? Thank you for the super chat, girl. Uh, uh. It would just be like, you know, purple. I remember when I had it was purple. It had those stirrups, straps at the bottom to keep your pants on, I guess. I don't know what, what they were for. To keep your pants tucked into your shoes, I guess. Anyway. When we were kids in the early 90s, it was like a thing. The leggings had this little like like strap that went across your heel. So it would stay like under your foot. And yeah, like, uh, let's say in your shoe or whatever. It just, boop, it kept it from kicking up. It was a thing when we were a kid. What is she acting like she doesn't know? Shut up, Chantal. You wore the same crap. Oh, no, they bullied me for that. No, they were wearing the same thing. I'm getting so angry. This story is so dumb. Just eat your fucking sandwiches and stop making up this shit. If you're going to make up a story, can't you make it an entertaining one at least? Goddamn. Libra, thank you for the super chat bananas are the one thing my diabetes doctor expressed to me to take out of my diet <laughs> and there she is healthy queen with her chocolate oats full of banana matching purple sweater and it had like little frilly bows on it and i always knew but I was getting that because it would be a box shape. They were packaged in like white boxes that said Sears in the box, almost like a cake box, but longer. You know what I mean? It would open. And of course I could never complain. Be rude, you know? I hate this woman. I, I, I can't. 
God forbid Chantal would be rude. No, can't imagine the made up stories you've told us before you basically like mentally tortured your mother to get your way, but you would never do anything that's rude. Oh, and the whole story about you mentally tor uh, torturing your mother because you couldn't get your way was made up also. This is the word. <laughs> now we're making up stories about outfits from Sears. <laughs> How can this be the same channel that aired the crackhead Olympics? It, 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 something here does not make sense. I hate it. Where's your backup chicken burger pondu? Thank you for the super chat. Can't eat homemade food proves. Wait, homemade food proves her taste buds are wrecked. I think it proves she's a lazy motherfucker who refuses to cook. Imagine having all those groceries and you, I'm eating two fucking subs. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> also, can I play? Absolutely, you can play from the trunk. You got your phone. I was actually taught to say thank you no matter what I received. So, no more close thanks. I'm going to get bullied. Deidre, <laughs> yes, me too. Thank you for the super chat. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh. Look at her arm. It's just literally laying. You're right. The sleeves are going to get nastier and nastier because her whole ass arm up until the elbow is laying in the paper of the sandwich. There's sauce right by her elbow. How? You're eating a sandwich and you end up with sauce on your elbows. The no home training thing is just, Shmi, look, look at you, Shmi. This is what you did. This is what you raised. Job well done, asshole. It's just so disgusting, Kathy. Thank you for the super chat. I remember in grade eight, I apparently looked like Ricky Lake. So that was my nickname, Ricky Lake. Or, um, so messy. Also, like, I had different hairstyles. So that was when I had, like, shorter hair. When I had long hair and bangs straight across, they called me... Hey, 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 fatty, take a pause and wipe your mouth. There's sauce dripping down your face. God. Oh, you know. Can't be fucked to clean her fucking face. Two bites at a time. Oh, oh, we can put too many things on your sub, it's chaos. You fat fuck. <laughs> no. You picked what you wanted on the sub. You wanted everything on the sub. You didn't want a sub. You wanted to eat the fucking sub place. You created this monster. And you sit there with all that sauce all over your face saying that? Your whole life is chaos, man. Look at you. You're going to be 40 in a few days. Oh, God. Oh, my God. We can put too many things on your sub. Look at her. 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 <laughs> Look at her face. Does she not feel it? Does she not care? Is somebody paying for this sauce? Is this supposed to make up for all the sauce that hasn't been all over her face since getting fake married? God, Ar look at, look, arm fully in the sauce is just, I am sickened. Oh my God, Sydney, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, it's probably great for her beat us this, this, a true Arabian princess. Hello. <laughs> look at her arm. She can't even lift her fat fucking arms anymore. She's got her arm just laying in the sauce. It's chaos. This is ridiculous. I cannot move. Um, just really dumb names. Why does she have to take like the biggest bites too? Like, uh, is it, maybe it's a feeder thing. It's probably, every time I get real grossed out and ask a question, the answer you guys always give me, it's like for a feeder. It, uh, 
it kills me that somebody gets off to this. How, how can this, uh, I think like if you get off to this kind of stuff, there is a level of self-loathing within you. You, you must hate yourself somewhere in there to enjoy this. Addicted to cold brew. Thank you for the super chat. It's, it's only been a couple of minutes so far. And she's like balls deep in that second one. Anyway, I thought that was funny. I'm sure there's other things. I can't think of. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Thank you for the super chat. Of course, being called welfare, welfare girl too. Nobody ever called you welfare girl. That's a story you stole from somebody else you went to school with. Shannon has confirmed that nobody called you welfare girl. According to stories that you yourself has told on your channel for years, your mom was just so hardworking, single mom, working for both of you, don't you know? Uh, Nima Reed, wifey number three, thank you again for the super chat. Every time she takes a bite, which is more frequent than breathing, she looks up to one side and it annoys me so much. Yeah, she does. So she's doing it right now. Nasty. Put so much um, chicken. You put so much chicken. She's just resting her eyes. It's killing me that you just. Oh God, I can see the sauce on the on the fucking jean shirt. Ugh. How do you just rest your arms? How lazy are you? Hold yourself up for fuck's sake, man. Just your arms. You can't. If you can't hold your arms up, you have no business double fisting sandwiches. Uh, Tammy D, thank you for the super chat. She's going in like she did. Oh no. <laughs> okay that's so gross because now the whole time we watch her finish this sandwich that's all i'm gonna think of every face every slop every bit of sauce on her face <laughs> no. hell yeah same basement baby thank you for the super chat last night or the last time i slept anyway <laughs> where um, yeah, I think she forgot that she told us that, Deidre. Thank you for the super chat. So I came for a visit to Canada. And I took him to uh, my favorite restaurant. <laughs> St. Hubert, one of them. Listen, I hate this man, okay? Chantal, if by some miracle this guy ever makes his way to Canada, if you take him to fucking St. Hubert as your first, like, outing, what is the matter with you? <laughs> fucking St. Hubert. St. Hubert is shit-level cuisine. St. Hubert is like, it's a staple in Quebec for the fucking chicken. There's a million better chicken places. St. Hubert. You're going to have somebody come from the other side of the world, and you're bringing them to St. Hubert, Girl, go and get your fucking head checked for real, for real. It is, it's bad. Bring him to St. Hubert. I, I'm like offended for him and I hate him. Street Cat Desire, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Vanessa. Have a great weekend, girl. <laughs> Have a Sue Mom, thank you for the super chat. Look at the size of those mitts. <laughs> the mitts. And yes, I know, I do dream about food a lot. So. Yeah, but if you really unpack everything she just said there, she's not only dreaming about food, she's dreaming about Canada again. She had a dream that she brought salad to Canada. So she's dreaming about St. Hubert, of all the things. What a waste of a dream. Fucking chicken in Canada. But the only way you will now come to Canada is if you bring Scatman with, because, you know, Kybella. <laughs> That's quite the dream. Let's talk about it. Thank you again for the super chat. If she was smart, she would promote laundry soap. That would be a great idea. But maybe like the last time when she was trying to promote the lip scrub, she would drink the laundry soap. <laughs> you never know. I'm just saying, if you gave her a cup of ma apple mango tango, it could be dangerous. Wake up there. 
I'm sorry for the quick pause, but absolutely. Grumpy Fluffy Bunny, thank you for the super chat. This is how you lose a new audience. This is specifically how you lose it. The Muslim new audience that you've been trying to court right before Ramadan, they tune into this everyday Miriam, the reverts channel, and she's stuffing her face. Gluttony is a sin. Gluttony is ham. They would tune the fuck out. This is disgusting to watch. And we're seated outside. It starts to get cold. And we're seated kind of next to somebody. So I'm like, let's Yes, yes, Delulu, thank you for the super chat. I was just talking about this with a group of people today. The jacuzzi full of gravy. We proposed this on this channel almost two years ago now. She, you know, again, never takes good advice. She could have made a killing. Let's go inside. So we go inside and this waiter's like, oh, sure, right this way. They see us inside, but they see us right in front of this elderly couple who are like really close to us like this. Takes a bite so big, pushes in the rest with her hand. It's disgusting. Can, this can't be 40 years old. I can't accept this. She's a few months fucking older than I am. How can this be? How do you teach a kid nothing at all? How does that kid survive? The cockroach thing. How does that kid survive? There's only one answer. She is the cockroach. So we have to move again. Why, yes, Shabbat Shalom. You're absolutely right. But that was a lie. She said that just to try and make Koki jealous. Koki didn't give a fuck. To the area with booths because it's more empty, which is usually the other way around. And then make sure the table can move. And it did, so. Is she still talking about her dream at the chicken place? Can you imagine being so fat that even in your fucking dreams, you have to dream about checking that a booth's table can move so that you can fit in your dream? You're trying to accommodate your fat in your dream? That's ridiculous. You should be a skinny legend in your dream. No. I'll live. Is it lost? Oh. So we're sitting there doing the usual couple stuff. I love you, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> what, what's that usual couple stuff? Like you go to the bathroom and he messages Kybella, I worship your ass 16 times. Usual cutesy poo couple stuff. Hee -hee. And then a dessert comes for him and it's a mid fay. It's a French dessert. I'll show you a picture. It's really good. Oh, fuck off. Everybody has seen a millefeuille, but they just don't call it a millefeuille with their pretend French accent. They call it a, call it a millefeuille. Eh? You, does anyone in this chat, has anyone ever not seen that? Come on, man. You're ridiculous, Chantal. He said, Missy. And you know why he ordered a Missy? Because they have those at fucking St. Hubert. They sell those even in the grocery store here. And it's like the brand St. Hubert. She's so obsessed. She's really dreaming of Canada. If she's dreaming that deeply and specifically about fucking god awful St. Hubert. What a lunatic, man. Jenny the Dancer, thank you for the super chat. I don't doubt that for a second. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. Oh my God, six inch, 14 bites. And the second one was 15 bites. Wow, <laughs> disgusting. I realized that everything I bought is like, you have to cook it. So cooking three times a day, I don't know how people do it. It's hard. Tiny violin, I know. At least I have food, I know. All right, so the dream, yeah, it was weird. And then we were staying at my mom's. Oh, I have rice pudding. I'll be right back. Okay. I made this. She just finished shoveling in two sandwiches. Did you see how excited she just got? <gasps> I have rice pudding. Oh, my God. 
All right, so the dream, yeah, it was weird. And then we were staying at my mom's. Oh, I have rice pudding. I'll be right back. Okay. Do you see how excited she just looked in her eyes? Oh my God. Ah! I have rice pudding. I'll be right back. Wow. I made this today. I made a lot of things today. My first time ever making this rice pudding in our. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You made a lot of things today, but you just double-fisted takeout sandwiches? Why not just eat the shit that you made all day? Or did you already eat all the shit you made today? Yeah. Plague nurse, thank you for the super chat. I may have had an edible, but all I can hear is Chantal, internet benefactor, singing to Taylor Swift. It's me. Hi, I'm the theater. It's me. <laughs> Who's paying for this? What kind of a sick motherfucker gets off to this? Like it's goes Habib. There was like a burnt bit, a few burnt bits. The only thing missing is uh, raisins. I can taste the burn. God, she's so lazy. She really just walked away from the, uh, the oven. I can taste the burn. So throw it away and start again, lazy. She's going to eat it anyway. <laughs> Fat. Smoky rice pudding. Oh, that's a flop. Because I burned the bottom of the pan. Sorry. When you burn the bottom, like burn the bottom of the pan, of the pot, that's all, it, the taste permeates everything you're cooking and ruins it. No shit, you don't say. Wow. She's teaching us so many, like, things about cooking. No one would have ever known at 40 years old that when you burn your food, you can taste it in the food. It's crazy. You're how do you? Oh, wow. Thank you for teaching us, Chantal. Really, very good. Thank you for the super chat. Motorboat that shit every day, fatty. <laughs> good thing I didn't make a big batch because I wanted to try it. Anyway, my guys, I'm not gonna bother you with details about this dream, but I don't know. I have really vivid dreams all of the time. At least every night I dream. I don't remember the last time I slept where I didn't dream. I mean, everybody dreams. It's because she stopped smoking weed. That's what happens. Everybody who smokes weed, it's like, it, I don't know what it is. It probably fucks with like the stages of sleep or some shit is probably the scientific reason. But I always just say, I don't know, it like mutes your dreams and mutes your emotions. And when you smoke weed, I can rarely, rarely remember my dreams. But when you do like a tolerance break or whatever, holy shit, the crazy dreams you have and you dream every night and you remember your dreams and stuff. It's about the weed. Apparently every night, but a lot of people don't remember their dreams. And like my grandmother was like that. She had dreams so rarely that she, on the odd time that she did, it would be like a big deal for her. And she would have to tell me all about it. But yeah, she like never had, um, she never had dreams. I remember her telling me that. So yeah, anyway, we also went and got some decorations for Ramadan. I was going to film that, but the stores were so busy and like really jam packed. Like, <clears throat> yeah, she didn't film it. They didn't go. He went, she didn't go. She's been in that luxury fart box, at luxury fart box of this guy. Ah, she wishes she didn't fucking go. If they had finally gone and done something, she would have filmed it. Full of shit. He went into a store. He comes out. He's like, here for Ramadan. And he throws them down. That's it. You didn't go. And he couldn't even be fucked to film it for you. NASA Jen. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, same. Hate when she shoves her gross ass food in. Yeah, into the camera. Like, here. Look at the bite. Look at the bite. Ugh. It's all like falling apart. There's sauce on her hand and stuff. The last thing I want to see is the innard of whatever you're eating. Excuse me. And it was really loud. So I don't know. Maybe um I will do shopping vlogs like when we're out, whenever it's like, you know, better conditions. <laughs> That's why I like to film when there's no one around because you don't have to worry. Conditions. 
better condition. She didn't go. I would bet anything that she didn't go. The burnt rice pudding pot is the new blow a blue moldy pot. Oh, gross. Sorry about that. Like people looking at you filming and stuff. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Anyway, which is something I didn't really care about. That's that. so Too sweet, much. Pixie. Aw, thank you for the super chat. You get shy a bit, like. I don't know, especially when I was doing karma bongs and people would pull up beside me. I'd be like, can you not park somewhere else? Ugh. You didn't get shy about filming in public. Stop lying. You got shy when people would pull up near you. And that's why you always had to go and sit alone in deserted parking lots because you're ashamed to be a death fat eating in public. It's why every time you took a bite, you'd be shifty eye looking over your shoulder. It's why when you came to Montreal during the lockdown of the city and fucking Saint Laurent uh, Boulevard was completely empty and her fat ass went to Schwartz's for that smoked meat sandwich, she sat in the car with nobody on the streets and still every bite was shifty eye looking out. God forbid one person would have been walking down the street. It's not about being shy to film. It's about being shy to be 450 pounds, stuffing your face and getting out of breath eating in a parking lot. Don't lie. Sweet Papa Stovepipe, thank you for the super chat. Can give me some motivation to push on or any resources used after your... Boy. <laughs> I didn't use healthy ones. I'm not the person to ask, but uh, the only motivation I can give is that I know it's so cliche, I'm not going to say time heals all wounds, but time makes things better. And as sad as it may be, I'm also going to say, you think you're going through it until something else hits. And sometimes something else hits that rocks your world even harder. And it puts everything into perspective. That's all I'm going to say. But give it time. Um, things get better. Anyway, I guess that's it. So, yeah, I'll see you guys. Uh, later, um, whenever. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Remember that saying? <sighs> How are my pillows placed for you guys today? Yeah, roll your eyes all you want, bitch. We're not the ones with the fake husband. Soulless, thank you for the super chat. You're absolutely right. She is a cockless cockroach. <laughs> okay, we're, up, we're right at the end of the video now. Now is going to be what I think and what the internet thinks is an error that she meant to edit out of this video. And she did not watch the mask slip, watch the real schmuck shine through. I love it. Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. My seven-year-old told me that when I die, I can ask to go. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> if my eyes could roll in the back of my head, they would definitely. All right, guys. So that's it. I take care. Say bye. All right, guys. That's it. See you in the next video. Bye. What the shit was that even? You have to like redo your like outro. That's so weird. Nothing she ever senses says is like just sincere. Why would you even bother like correcting that? It was. She's fucking weird. This is fucking weird. I don't care. Definitely. All right, guys. So that's it. I right, take care. Say bye. All right, guys. That's it. See you in the next video. Bye. Why couldn't you just say take care? Bye. It's so weird. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Bagel buddy. She hates everyone. She hates everyone. She hates doing these videos. She wants to stuff her fucking face. She doesn't give a shit, but got to keep those coins coming in somehow you know she's done with this she's burnt the fuck out we think we're burnt out with her content and stuff she's more burnt of her than we are of her she's sick to death of this shit everything in her life is miserable right now and she still comes out bye -bye, and pretending to be all fake and stuff she doesn't even want to have to play fakey fakey she wants to sit in her fucking misery sans hijab stuffing her fucking face and feeling bad for herself that she's fake married to an incel freak motherfucker who hates women hates women but likes to come to the western world even though he hates the women from here uh has mad flappy tits birthing ass hips and wants to shit on anyone that's not her we'd be miserable too <laughs> no actually we wouldn't be miserable too because we'd never be there <laughs> 
Yes. Well, oh, NASA Jen. Yes. Wait. Okay. Okay. Well, very good. The eye roll. The eye roll. Like a 16 year old little bitch. You know what I mean? I was that bitch. I know that eye roll. NASA Jen. Exactly. She's such a bitch to her audience. I mean, they deserve it, but what the fuck? Right. Imagine you pay $5 to participate in that piece of shit chat. And that's like the sincerity of the person entertaining you. They don't fucking want to be there. It's just, oh, oh, DG, don't worry. She is. She is. She has been for a long ass time and she always will be. This is an exceptionally miserable spot in her life, but can't let us win. I say in quotes, you know what I mean? Okay, keep keep up the illusion of the happy marriage, girl. You're, you're doing great, sweetie. Keep it up. We're all buying it. Yikes. If I got 100K, I'd be so happy. I would dress it up and it would go everywhere with me. <laughs> you take it around like a kid. <laughs> you have a stroller for your plaque. You've got it like bundled up. You're cradling it. Someone's like, oh, what a cute baby. You're like, don't ever talk to me or my son ever again. And you like turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my God. Fucking insanity. Ugh. But she'd never even be that funny. If she started doing content like out with her black in a stroller, treating it like a baby, taking it to like, I don't know, the park and stuff, I would die. That's funny content. You know what I mean? She would never. You want to see that little end thing again? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me go back. Shh, shh, wait, Chantal, wait. <laughs> if my eyes could roll in the back of my head, they would definitely. All right, guys. So that's it. I take care. Say bye. All right, guys. That's it. See you in the next video. Bye. That's right. 40 years old. <laughs> Big yikes. Anywho. <sighs> yeah, take it to the food bank and stuff. <laughs> my child. <laughs> oh my God. Do you have any formula for my baby? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, they do little like things for kids always during Ramadan and stuff. You know what I mean? To like make it like fun on a holiday for kids. She brings her fucking plaque. <laughs> Because she wants the snacks for the kids, you know? She's like, but but what about my son? They look at her like she's fucking crazy, you know what I mean? Oh, I love that so much. Holy shit. Oh, that's how they're going to stay in the family building. She's like, I finally birthed my child. <laughs> it's the black. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, I love it. And they look at the plaque and they go, who's foodie beauty? I thought you were beauty, um, you know? Oh, she'll hide the plaque in her food box. That's only if the mother senses danger for her young. She's like, come, little Joey, jump in my fupa pouch. <laughs> yes. I would say, and then she would hop off like a kangaroo, but we all know she can't hop. She comes down on those angles. It's fucking over, man. Oh, yeah, she can keep the little the little child warm. Mm, yeah, keep it safe in the fupa. Yeah. Foodie and baby black touching grass. They do like a newborn uh, photo shoot. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, I'm too high. It's official. Too high. Yes, the kangaroo voop about. Like, I, I can't do an Australian accent to save my life. Come here, my little Joey. <laughs> I retract that statement, Australia. Please don't hate me from the future. Oh my God. Like a penguin coddled under her feet. No, you know why she's not like a penguin? They mate for life. This bitch can't, like a man can't put up with her ass for a year, even for citizenship. She is no penguin. She is the walrus. <laughs> okay. Cockney. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> I watch Kore. It's where me British accent comes from. Coronation Street. Since I've been a child. Oh, <laughs> it's the only British accent I knew. Listen, we are caught up in Shantopolis. Your girl Frenchie has gone overboard on the weed tonight. I would apologize, but I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry, bitches. <laughs> Listen, we're going to end the stream tonight. It's not Scottish. It's Coronation Street. God damn it. I get no respect in this channel. No respect, I say. And if you watch Coronation Street, you know who that was. Rest in peace, Fred Elliott. 
We are caught up in Shantopolis. <laughs> no, but listen, I got to go. I got to go because we're going to go live over on my Twitch. What time is it now? It is 8.05. Okay. I need to make some food because I'm fat. And I need to walk my dogs because they're a little babe. Dogs. Dog because he's a little babe. And deserves a little walk. Uh, so we will reconvene over on the Twitch at 9 p.m., which is 55 minutes from now. If you're not in me time zone, okay? 55 minutes from now. Anybody who wants to play or try, we're going to try and play, all right? Over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash French Fried Girl. I hope to see you little bitches all there. If not, you're going to have the FOMO, you mofos. And you should have the FOMO. It's a good time. It's our intimate beezing setting. Mm, it's a good time. Jane Doe, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I appreciate. Oh, no, it's Australia. Oh, no, I'm so ashamed of myself. Oh, thank you for letting that one slide, Australia. You're awesome. <laughs> The Lulu, thank you for the super chat. Love that the fake homemaker act disappeared within a day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making desserts for the neighbors, making Dolma make it. Yeah, where's the Dolma? I forgot all about that. Bitch is supposed to be rolling her ass off tonight. Where's the Dolmathas? I'm waiting to critique them. I'm still not telling her the trick because I want her to fuck it up good. Pixie, Pixie Black Bondu. <laughs> Great name change, girl. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Everybody, I appreciate all you. <laughs> I sound like a hippie, eh? I appreciate everybody, but I do. Fuck, tonight was fun. Good time. This is all what is Friday is about, supposed to be about. She gives us fuck all to work with, but we turn it into something real fun. As always, thank you guys so much for always turning it into so much fun. And for being here and for participating. And it's Friday, motherfuckers. Woo! <laughs> so like I said... If you want to play, I will see you over there in about 55 minutes-ish, all right? If not, stay miserable and don't play with us, whatever. We'll be back on YouTube tomorrow. We'll see you then, all right? Have a great night, everybody. Please be safe. See you on Twitch. Bye.